Hello, you wonderful people, to our next JS Epic tutorial course, where we are building a real life project using Next.js, Strapi, Tailwind with Chat CUI. I'm so excited to continue our journey. If you missed previous videos, you could check out the link here, and each video has a complimentary blog post that you could find in the description below for reference and code snippets used. But in this part three series and the next couple of videos, we're going to finish building out our hero section, our feature section, and we're also going to build our header and footer for our navigation. We're also going to cover basic loading states, error handling, and not found page. So I'm excited to continue with this awesome tutorial. So let's jump in. While going to the tutorial, you could find all this code on GitHub. If you click on main, you would see all the lesson branches that are available. Today we're working on lesson three, which is our landing page. So if you need to compare the code, you could check it out in the repo. With that being said, let's get started. Taking a look at our application, we just have this hero section. All of our data is coming from our Strapi admin. So before continuing, we want to make a little refactor. So we go to our hero section.tsx file and we take a look at our previous code. There's a couple of things we're doing here. Number one, we are hard coding our URL. Number two, we're not using Next.js image element. So let's start first by creating a component called Strapi image that will utilize Next.js image and makes working with Strapi images much easier. We're going to go ahead navigate to your components folder into customs and create a new file. And we're going to call it strappy image.tsx. Navigating to our blog post. And again, the link is going to be in the description. We're going to copy this code here for our strappy image component. Let's go ahead and paste it in. So you don't have to watch me type this out. If we take a look here, we're going to create a new utility called Get Strapi Media, which we'll do in just a minute. But if you take a look at our component, it takes some image props that we need, and it'll go ahead, use the Next.js image for our Strapi image component. Get Strapi Media is responsible for formatting our Strapi image URL source that we get from Strapi to appropriate format, depending if it's stored locally or stored on another service like Cloudinary. So let's navigate to our lib.utils folder, and you could find the helper functions inside our blog post. If you scroll down, you will find the function for getstrap URL and the function for getstrap media URL. So go ahead and copy, and inside VS Code, let's paste the following code. Getstrap URL, again, will be responsible for getting our public Strapi URL from Next.js. And get Strapi Media is going to dictate if it should return a URL as this or return it by appending our Strapi URL to our path. And this is strictly depending if our files are stored locally or using a third provider like Cloudinary or Amazon. So now let's go ahead and import our Strapi image component and it's going to be from our components custom folder and once that's imported we could go ahead and replace our regular image tag with our strappy image we no longer need the style and instead of hard coding our base url to our image url path we could go ahead just pass our image url to source directly and remove this. We could also remove this console log. I'm going to restart my front end project by running yarn dev. And when we refresh localhost, now it's going to break. You could go ahead and take a look at this link that will take you to the error. You could see that you need to configure your image host inside the next.config.js file by providing the following options. So let's go ahead and make that update now. Let's navigate to our next.config.mgs file and inside the brackets, add the following. Inside images, remote patterns, we're going to first point to our local host by saying protocol HTTP, hostname localhost, the port that we're using 1337, 
and the path name for our files, which are stored locally inside our Strapi app. Our Strapi image also has a fallback for a picture that it's coming from placeholder.ko. So we wanna make sure that we reference it as well so our application doesn't fail. So one more time, take a look at Strapi images. You could see that here we have a fallback that's coming from our placehold.co link. So we wanna make sure that we've referenced that. With that being done, if we refresh our application, you notice that our image now works. Awesome. So to recap, we used the Next.js image component inside of our custom component called Strapi Image that uses GetStrapi Media to get the appropriate URL that we could pass into the source attribute of our image. We added the appropriate utils inside our lib.utils folder, and then we finally used our the component inside the hero section. And to make sure that our Next.js application was working fine without complaining, we needed to add the remote patterns here inside next.config.mjs file. And in the next video, now that our hero section is done, we're gonna move forward to building our feature section.